Good morning, people. Good afternoon to the Meridian, and good evening to the East Hemisphere. And if you're just in a place where time does not apply, then I say welcome. Welcome to a tell your back. I... Hold on. I apologize. I put the wrong model on this morning. And... <laughs> it appears I'm a half-made cat now. Tuxedo cat. Eh, we'll roll with it. Why not? Let us see who is taking an early seat. Good morning, Lummox Fox. How do you do? And to the nameless, those who are watching through the embedded link in Discord or on Twitch. Tweeter. Then I simply say welcome. I welcome the nameless. Today's October drawing prompts are spell, moon, and artist, which <laughs> curiously are an apt description of a dear friend of mine, Luna Spellman. So I plan to draw her as a goblin with stuff. Co uh, let me see. Drawing. What's her safe? Her face. With the little moon icon which she has on her face. On her character's face. Drawing something on an easel. Which, using her spooky moon magic, causes things to fly off the page in sparkles and shadows and create the image right behind her. Oh, well, she's a goblin for this time. So let's get to it. Let me fix my music. Okay, they have that to do. And I do have a picture. As you can see, I have a picture of her on my desk here for reference. I do hope people's weekends went well. I know the weather is getting much cooler. And still just as damp as August. But, well, we know warm humidity is different from warm humid weather is different from cold humid weather and I do understand that while cold might be a little more pleasant it can also be harder on the joints it can lead to a lot of achy backs achy jo joints 
difficult in movement, which is why it's so important to stretch every hour or so and keep those joints limber and active. Because as the hibernation is fun and comfy and cozy, but as a person stays still for too long and things get cobwebs and rust and crust, it can be harder to move again when a person should needs to move. And that's not good. What is going on with that lock of hair? I guess I could also just give her go off off her pay crew thing and give her more uh what's the word? You know, goblin y hair, like wild and untamed and savage and wow and I see we have another visitor. Hey There she is Like the like the cool cat clip with Eric Estrada. There she is and how do you do, Luna? And how do you do, Maddie and son? Yep, that's the moon. Ah, that's good news, Luna. I'm also doing okay, thank you. Uh, I don't remember what kind of earrings you have. So I'll just give... Spooky Goblin earrings from now. Uh, I will say, Luna, you are more than free to say, Beck, I don't like it that way. Can you do it this way instead? And I'll be like, oh. Uh, so in lore, I am, so in roleplay, I am asleep. Um, and this is my cat. My cat is taking over for me today because I did sleep through my alarm today. Uh, out of character, I just picked the wrong model and decided to run with it. <laughs> uh, my cat is filling in for me today. My, my half made cat with no whiskers. Drawn, drawn Luna Spellman as a goblin. Can't forget the little nose thing. Nose. So your cat who has. That's right. My, dare I say, on this say so family friendly stream, I gotta look around to make sure it's safe. My big kitty is taking my place today. Actually, I might get a kick out of this. The reason the kitty has big is because this was a leftover from a model. From a commission that someone wanted me to make and their model had big <laughs> because uh so i made the model for the man mannequin the way theirs is because this is the kind of hair i made for that model for that commission and i was like well i'll just use this m one model as a stand-in for female things uh, and oh dear, I can see it's not working as well as it should have. I do apologize. I mean, I was happy with it. But still, you know. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Uh, what makes it appears I am a cute anime girl? All good. How do you do today? Okay. 
So that was your doing. Just move the head down a little bit. I do apologize. Do you all want to see the bizarre opening for today or just stay with the stay with the drawing balloon as a goblin it's your choice hmm well it's staying on now so that's good I guess I'll just put me back at the front. Nope. Nope, that's the wrong model, too. I mean, it's getting closer. I didn't realize I had so many of my commission models just sitting around. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Wiggle. I guess this means I have two tentacle-themed clients so far. I don't know what to make of that. I guess tentacles are in style. Okay, let's see... Nope, nope, that's just Bionicle. That's just Bonkles. There we go, that's better. This feels a little more like my old self. Right, let's get back to business. No. Shoulder the hammer on, but it would work for the goblin head shapes. Mm hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Court. Thank you, Court Show, and uh, good afternoon. How do you do today? I do, I am glad you could make it, and thank you for the fuck. I also forgot to say, thank you, Corcho and, and Lumix Fox for following. I do hope to see you again soon. Also, Luna, please remind me, are you right-handed or left-handed? I'm sorry, I should have asked that before. I'll drop both hands, why not? Hey, left-handed gang, let's go! Not only does this mean I drew it sort of in the right angle before, but it also means we're both left-handed. Fun, fun fact. In, in French, I believe in French, they don't call them left-handed. <laughs> yes. I'm glad too, and I'm fellas. If you enjoy chill art streams and comfy vibes too, I highly recommend following Corchio N and Lummox Fox. 
both chill artists and cool gamers and fun and kind and kind dudes. I enjoy their presence and and, ni and niceness very much. Luna Spellman is also an amazing artist, um, but she's got more of an excited vibe, exciting vibe, I would say. She also is an epic gamer, dude. My goodness, she she didn't play fighting games for real for a long time, and then she practiced Guilty Gear, and she's a good Guilty Gear player, and she's an amazing artist, like really. She's even doing commissions. And I see we have a fifth visitor. Oh, right, it's because it's course you're on. Silly me. Luna, I regret to inform you I have given you spindly bionicle arms. We are now bionicle. As you can see, I'm having fun swooping between models today. Or I guess between puppets? Characters? That's an actual pen. I need the stylus. I know that a woman's hand is shaped differently from a man's hand, but it'll give me an idea of the shape. pointer finger is longer than her ring finger while on a man a ring finger his ring finger is longer than his pointer finger so I should add extra length to this maybe that's too long because that doesn't make for an, a comfy grip that's not even how a pen is held as is pointing fingers are not as knobbly as mine nor are most women's fingers but it'll it'll do for you know just getting me the shape but yeah courtier how do you do today and how does Lumix do? Because I, I don't think I saw it. I apologize. I said not much, not much doing. Okay. But yeah, how does Gorchio do? And how do all the others do? I do hope that we can start it. It's not a rhetorical question, by the way, you know. I, I don't want you to think it's just like... Big shot streamer, small talk like all. Hey, how you doing? What's new? Hey, ho, ho, ho. Okay, moving on. Nah, nah, it's like if you're doing good, that's yeah, good. And I want to know if you're doing bad. I still want to know when we can talk later. If you feel up to it, I'm, if you, if you know, you trust me with that. It's up to you. Because I, you know. Hey, welcome to the Epic Rock Show. And you tell him a little nervous today. Yeah, put it back. 
They said they like coming to my streams for chill vibes. <laughs> Draw an easel. Artist easel at 45 degree angle. Okay, I can work it there. Smart, what I really do is just now I'm not smart. Oh, Corchio and Lummox. I think I don't know if I asked you two this question because I think this is your first salt time here. I know Lummox was here last week in a way. Uh, if you can have any animal as a pet, extinct or alive, but real, not, not fantastic. And you wouldn't have to worry about the medicine, the shelter, the maintenance. What kind of animal would you pick for a pet? I wonder if anyone's going to know what I'm writing out here. It ain't anything bad, it's just... It's just in a different language. And I'm sure I mixed up some of the characters, because I don't write in this script, I don't write in this font very often. Uh, let me think this. 
Oh, uh, that one looks kind of like that. I remember that vaguely. I could just look it up. <laughs> I just realized not just that I've left the menu open whoop, but also just these first five letters they pretty much it's like writing this so it sounds kind of like Abagada which sounds a little like Avocado. Which sounds like avocado. Hey guys, welcome to today's live stream where we got an epic show for you today. Please remember to like and subscribe. We're going to get the bajillion likes on the red to on the Reddit on the YouTube. It's not bad, it's just not my usual taste. Usual thing on here. But I don't like. Hmm. Here's a curious question for uh, <coughs> anyone still watching. And you don't have to answer this if you don't wanna. Do you speak or write in any other languages, sort of? Uh, natural, artificial, fictional. Let's see, Corchio speaks English, very basic German, and would like to want to learn Japanese. An impressive loadout, Corchio. I do hope I'm saying that right. I, I don't know if it's Corchio or Corsio, or Corseo, Corchio. I, I'm sorry, uh, please educate me if you're not satisfied with the way I say it. Very impressive that you want to, that you're trying to learn more languages. An ambition I think all should have. Hold the phone. Is I'm sorry, I just want to test. Test message. Core CEO. Ah, Core CEO. Ah, thank you. Okay, good. So it is working. Sorry about that. I had no. Tr Since I made the name, I had no trouble. He had no trouble saying it. But a lot of people seem to. Be st I'm almost afraid to ask. Are they end? Do they end up pronouncing it Corsion? But like, do they have the N at the end?
Or is it a different kind of issue with saying it? That is not wrong. They do. Uh... I want... Right. Because I suppose uppercase and lowercase in the middle of words is <clears throat> standard. And it's assumed to be read as once. As opposed to like uh, a name. Right. Because you're, you are Corsio, Corsio, Northalon, but it reads like Corsio N. I, I will admit, I apologize. I initially thought it was that too until, until I saw it on your overlay and on your tweeter, which is also just called Northalon instead of Corsio N. I do, I do look forward to the day that it becomes much better well known as I went with, you went with it, and her name is, it's, heaven forbid you have a real name on the internet, well I should say, a realistic name on the internet. I can't believe it's not just memes, Cor Corsio, Cor Corsion, anything works. As long as they don't call you late to dinner, I assume. Ravenbly. Ah, uh, yes. Ravenbly. I will apologize if I don't remember how to draw a raven. No sunglasses. I will admit, I don't remember if ravens have teeth. I went to try hard mode. My, uh, Corsio went try hard on his character creation, and it shows because I've seen, I've read a little bit about the lore you've posted, and I've seen the pictures you've drawn and others have drawn. It's really nice, man. It's really impressive. Oh. <clears throat> See, that's the kind of try-hard VTuber lore I'm after. The kind where it's not just, ooh, I'm a funny anime, and also chaos, and also the end of the universe. And now I'm gonna play video games, lol. I'm not bashing that. I'm not, I'm just saying, that's not my style. I have a very distinct style. Please don't, you know, get upset over there, anyone. But it's like, Corsio stuff, it's more my style. I can appreciate it more. You know, I'm not a horror guy. I'm not an anime guy. I'm a bird brain guy, raven boy guy, apparently. I'm not super... So Corsio's not super social. And that, so... Ah, uh, It is wonderful when you can find the... Whoa. Excuse me. When you can take refuge, solace, and and fun and pleasure, and lore, fantasy stuff, the kind of stuff that helps you express yourself better, you know, in a world that's otherwise difficult to. Of course, she's got a big brain and a big heart, people. At least from what I've seen so far. And a lot to give. Stout little bird. 
He's the birdie boy, and the raven boy. Oh no, I just realized I drew the tweet bird instead. Fold that wing away. So, Kikorcio sat down for a couple. You're giving us the deep lore spoils already? Thank you. I'm going to treat this with respect. Actually, let me see. Do I have proper music for that? No. Where is it? So Corsio Cors 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 sat down for a couple of hours and was like, Gaelic is a language, Corvo means raven, Sio means sky, and then in Latin, Corsio also means a st Corsio means a stray. In North Te- I'm sorry, I can't read all this time, I thought it was North Alon. It is North Alon. Um, North and Talon, so Corsio went too deep. I don't see anything wrong with taking your character uh, name to a serious and meaningful level. I think everyone should have a meaningful name. Oh, excuse me. Although, I can't speak for mine. <laughs> I give... Is that a bug? I, gi I give Corsio three cheers out of uh, infinite. Out of whatever's appropriate. For excellent name creation. I give Corsio a round of applause. Good job, man. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness, who are all these people that are going live at this hour? At the risk of sealing the spotlight, would you like to know the logic behind an old D and D, a favorite D and D character? Of oh, mine. I can hear the picture too. And you can say no, you're not in the mood. It's all good with me. Sorry, bird. What you got for now? The spookies, spooky music. Let me think. Core zero. A stray raven sky. And Northern Bird, I mean Bird Claw Talon. It really does work. It it really does work. It's very impressive. Fun fact. 
Corsio found out about a stray way after the initial. <laughs> Corsio found out about a stray meaning way after the initial name. It was like a cherry. It was like just a cherry on top. And Corsio felt that a stray summarizes his childhood quite well. XD. Oh. Oh. I'm, I'm sorry, man. I. I know rough childhoods are, rough childs and rebellious childhoods are a very common thing and can lead to tumultuous times and growth overall, but I'm still sorry I had to go through it, man. I, I do hope the future is bright for you. I mean, from what I've seen, you seem to be doing pretty well now, but we all have skeletons in our closets. Well, there's always more than meets the eye to a person. Oh, okay. A feeling of not belonging anywhere. Ah, uh, a common childhood plight, but always significant. Always felt like his zone of interest was completely different from his peers. Mmm, I see. Sorry, people, but I have to take care of an emergency. I will be right back. Let me...
Okay, I thank y'all for your patience. The emergency has been resolved. Now we can get back to business. Just clear that mess here. As I draw ears more like cat ears, then I don't know how goblin ears work. I suppose if I watch enough goblins, I can figure it out. I do watch plenty of goblins, but I never looked at the ears, really. I guess it never seemed relevant until now. But now I'm learning. And I see that Herbs is, Herbs, Herbs has joined us, and Hen, Hen, Tai Chan, and I welcome you both to Atelier Beck. I am Beck, and this is my Atelier. hemisphere I say good morning if you're in the meridian good afternoon if you're in the east good evening and if you're just in a place where time does not apply then I say welcome Glasses tend to be red actually, so I'm going to change. Mm-hmm. 
last mouth uh, let's give her a spooky witch outfit used to, there are plenty of little ranching goblins, but I'm just so used to the, the old-fashioned uh, green goblin, big chin goblins, even on the light, even on female goblins. Like, the real, the real just triangle, 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 round. And depending on how hard you're going, like really nasty eyes, like. Bleh. Even if they're a lady, you just give them eyelashes, got. And lipstick, and. Maybe some. Pigtail, some, some pigtails. They make them look like, uh. Valkyries. Valkyries. This. I'm still. I, I've seen enough goblins to know that's not this. That's not the baseline, and that's a, that's an over racist stereotype. But it's hard for me to get away from. And I I say welcome back, Lumix Fox. As you can see, we have made some progress. Uh, we got we got bird. We got old old style got goblin. With the pointy chin. We got Castlevania. Soft long arms that are very long, you know, gangly, like goblins. Back as I remember. Beck, you can't be drawn goblins that way. It's old and prejudiced. It's not nice. It's also inaccurate. Then I said, but look at her head. I made her head too big. She gotta be proportionate. No, you don't. She can, you goblins can have big heads. You can have rock music on your comp playlist. How do I 
drop body part. Wow. It's about 10 o'clock. I do apologize, people, but it's time for me to do to stretch and have some water. I recommend you do too at this time. You back soon, people. Time for an hourly stretch and water. I recommend you take time for this too. Be back around 10 or 5. Damn, USC's GMT minus four. I don't know why it keeps writing in the elephant font, but it works. So yes, I will be in the back doing some stretches. You might hear some thumping as I do jumping jacks. Stretch left and right, if you know what I mean. And I do toe touch, toe touch, star toe touches with both arms alternating. You can really get anything out, any bubbles, any cracks out between my vertebrae. And I'll do some half squats. I understand full squats are harder to get up from, but they're easier to do. While half squats are more stressful, at first, they're easier to do consistently because they're less movement and they're more in the muscles rather than fighting gravity right after giving up on gravity, if that makes sense. Now I'll do some tiptoes. And then I'll do some sideways leg kicks while holding on to my chair to keep my back straight. Six to fifteen of those for each leg. I'm not doing full flex physical therapy here. Just enough to really get the cobwebs out from my joints. Ask myself what I'm gonna have for lunch today, but I can see I wrote it down already. That was smart of me. I just hope my appetite doesn't change. Okay, do the leg kicks. Now I'll do the I do them to the side and do them to the back. Now I'll do the Goku thing, where he balances on his legs and does that sort of sideways squat. It's harder than it looks. As many things in cartoons do. Ugh. And then I'll do 
10 to 20 jumping jacks or star jumps. I'll be right back and I'll hit that water. Excuse me. I say stretch, but it's more like a light exercise in calisthenics. Okay. I thank you for your patience. Let's get back to it. I do hope people have been taking time to stretch and hydrate and take care of themselves as well. Because <clears throat> if you don't take care of your body and you don't take care of your mind, if you don't take care of your body and your mind, you can't be the best you can be. And that's not good. You gotta, gotta, gotta keep your vessel in order to keep the contents fresh. Yeah, just keep the music on. It is here I show. I don't know how female anatomy works. I also don't want to go get flagged for drawing inappropriate content. I also don't really know what her character looks like from the head down now that I think about it.
time for some of your hand stuff. Everyone, some burb, some burb, some burb's amazing, cool dude. And you can bully him, no problem. That's not why I like him, actually. I don't like bullying people. But it's a fun fact for the people who do like that kind of stuff. Not my audience, though, as far as I can tell. No, me, I'm the cool... No, you're the cool dude. Or better yet... Uh... Oops. No! Before I could play the... We are all cool dudes. How do you do today, Burp? And good morning. That's good news. Oh, excuse me. I also do all right. Thank you. I'm still recovering from uh, calisthenics, though. Guys, please give Burb a like and subscribe. Wait, this isn't for you, YouTube. If you enjoy video game stuff and good vibes, I do rec highly recommend some Burb. Also, he likes Komodo Dragon, so that's pretty rad. It's Miss Mouse. It's little Mousy Bianca. How do you do today, Miss Mousy Mouse? How do you do, Bianchi Bunk? Bianchi Bianc Bianc Bunk 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 Bianc Blanc. Uh. I'm doing okay, thank you. That's good news. I'm also doing all right. Oh, would the two of you like to see the the, 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 the oopsie-whoopsie way I opened today's uh, stream? Because it seems to be very quiet. We, I could do it again if you like. Okay. Uh, I'm going to... Let me just... Let me reset that door. Uh... No, that's not it. Trust me, and this, I got, I got this. Okay. I accidentally put on the cat model I, I, I paused to work on from a long time ago. Yes, and said, okay, my cat has taken over for today. And it's so cursed. Until <laughs> you back in. Hi, hey, welcome to the Be welcome to the Beck Camp Cafe. We got we got Beck Opara. What's going on with the eyes? The, the eyes moved better last time. Okay, they kind of move. Go ahead. Yeah, that's fair. Yeet! 
Okay, guys, the stream's over. I'm gonna run away before I get my nose boot. Bye. I left my car keys. I gotta come back and get them. Where'd I put them there? Oh, wait, I did run. Okay, guys, I'm awake. What I miss? Because I did sleep through my alarm this morning. Oops. I think this was the first commission I actually ever had. Just hair. Funny tentacle hair. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Tentacle. <laughs> yes, welcome to the cult of the tentacle. It's very eldritch. It does look squishy and soft. I'm gonna keep this one for now because why not? Oh no, I'm doing it again. I'm at, I've entered a uh, meme post mode. How do I draw easels? Good question. Yes, the medium character. Uh, but Mousy has so much more to offer than just memes. God, I forgot to say, if y'all like watching RPGs and cool stuff, I do highly recommend Lil, Lil Mousy Bianca's channel. A lot of Tales of Arise and Mary Skelters and 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 I think it was called Yonkohama One Nights, the game from last night. And I know Sunburb enjoys RPGs immensely, so maybe the two of you can work something out. Oh yeah, Yomawari, ah, thank you. <laughs> I think something good is going to happen. sitting over here playing Brandish on the SNES, like a masochist. Ah, yes, everyone, Steve, Steve, Steve. Steve plays the cool horror games and puzzle games, and he beats me at JoJo most of the time. Fighting games. Unless it's Street Fight, then I win. And a Street Fight. And he's also a good friend. Uh, Steve, you missed the... You missed the... Big <coughs> Kitty. Because I slept late. And my cat had to take over. I'm a dirty cat. <laughs> Wait, where's Smile? Hey. Oh no! Oh no. Ah, ah. Well, I'm a dirty chap, man. I don't I don't even wash my feet. Furry Bech confirmed. How do I move this? Oh no. 
But wait, 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 uh, wait, uh, 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 Oh wait, I can, I can figure it out, uh, uh, bonkles. The pop, the Madara and the Papa Nui, in the old days of the Lego world. A man has fallen into the Bionicle River. Hey! Quick, build the helicopter. Deploy the, le deploy the wench and get him to safety. New by uncles, bonkles. Uh, I tried to make a mask for a guy, and this was the, the very early days of me learning Void. Oh, it gets scary. This character actually has lore, and when he gets his thing, he's this is not for him anymore. But if he ever does, <coughs> not to worry, Steve. You'll get your chance to clip the feet. Let's see, do I have anything else? I don't want to show off Lazy Eldritch's model before his debut, because, you know, that'd be stealing his thunder. But look, we have a goblin with a runescape-shaped head. We got do 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 You can just jump on the table. We can have a woman breathing weirdly. We can have the... Where's the thing? Uh, as you can see, I'm having more fun duke derping around now. I'm going back to watch the thank you. I I, I I appreciate your dedication, Steve, and I hope it. I hope you can use that clip to blackmail me as I jump on this desk. And I'm going to rub my back on the on the desk. Wiggle wiggle wiggle. It would appear I have a fondness for the, at least, I think, a commission for Wiggles. Or they just come in handy. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. With my RuneScape shaped head. mind about discuss I mean like I guess you can shop on booth or look around look through a cold water creek or lands end shouldn't be too hard to look through a clothes catalog and sign ooh I like that one that one's nice You know, you think about the character, you think about the personality, you welcome Lassie Lux, and no, no name Paladin, no name Paladin's here. I do welcome you, good sir, to Atelier Beck. I am Beck, and this is my Atelier. Please, stay as long as you would desire. May it be a pleasant rest for you, my good man. Wiggly, wig, wiggly, wiggly. Bianchi's tiny. Bianchi's a little dog. Mouse dog. Ah. Uh, I. So why don't you give her one of the like the Mary Skelter costumes? Because those look kind of uh, sadistic and small. And then you can show off your appreciation for that series. <laughs> I'm full of ideas. Some of them good. Yeah. Well, 
but what is Yab? What is Yab? What is Yab? What is Yab? Oh dear. Concerning. Is there I thought I disabled automod except for racist and vulgar messages. I'm still surprised the other one about the dog got through. Are you Oh pfft. Nice. That's uh that's big talk from a squeaker like you. I think it's gonna get worse if I ever make the sadist mode back, uh, uh, model. And it just turned to a big jerk. I just, I just spam fireballs all day. Yes. Yes. Oh, hey, I forgot I can do that. Ah, uh, yes, RPG sounding music. Have you thought about... Uh, thank you for reminding me, Mousy. I actually forgot about vectors. <laughs> Which is weird, because I use them a lot. Thank you. If I weren't already on the way done, I would happily switch over to that now. <laughs> Massey's full Massey's full of big ideas, people. The brightest sun reflected on the field of snow, so in that moment the whole room exploded. Also, I didn't realize this was an ASMR stream now, I'm scared. dog there later. What the dog doing? And breathe in and embrace tranquility. If you all like good vibes and nonsense and cool and cool and chill times, I recommend No Name Paladin in the ch in the in the chat in the uh, user list. 
Let's see who else do I recognize that I can give a shout out for. I see no one new right now. No one that I recognize anyway. I do apologize to the newcomers. I hope we can interact well soon. It's funny you mentioned that. Uh, 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 I, my brain is turning off now. December in the north. December in the north. December in the north. December in the north. I don't know what's going on here with this pseudo profound. Yeah, back brain. It's mostly probably white and gray. If you like brains, No Name Paladin watched uh, a fancy hibachi where they tore up shrimp brain, seafood brains, and turned them into paste and sauce. It was very spoopy. And kind of gross, but also kind of neat. Oh yes, here's a curious thing for people who want to learn about a different language a bit. Uh, if you can sort of excuse, I don't remember how to draw the Aleph or A value. Uh, the first five letters of Hebrew sound uh, Aleph, Bet, Gimel, Dalet, He, or A, B, G, D, H, which if you put in random vo uh, vowels can sound like Abagada or Avocado. 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 Because I don't usually write in block or print. Excuse me. They're definitely an acquired taste, and I would classify them more culinary. Whoops! What is going on here? Oh, I made it too big. More like a vegetable, or a, even a nut, or a bean than a fruit, taste-wise. <laughs> Culinary whoops. I hope Steve will come back to clip that too, unless Mousy does, or I'd hit take care of it later. Here's a suspicious question for y'all. Streamers, do you tend to watch your streams afterward and check if they're really something you want to save? It's supposed to like just ah, let them die or let them go to YouTube no matter what. <laughs> what is quality control? But Burb, you have an angelic voice. Like the dove you are. It's actually very pleasant to listen to. I'm no expert in voices, and the only reason I go by bass baritone is because I I was told that by a coach. But I think you have a baritone. But Bianca does record all streams locally to edit down for YouTube. Smart. 
Bianca does also have a pleasant voice. I don't know if it would be considered an alto. And Corsio. Ah, welcome back, Corsio. I mean, I know you were here lurking, but... Corsio saves all his VODs to YouTube, mostly for time-lapse purposes. Ah, smart. Ah. Uh, I don't know, Mouse. I don't know, Mouse. So your voice sounds pretty high-pitched to me. I mean, I can understand if you want it to be higher for, for role-playing and character purposes, but, you know, it's pleasant to listen to, that's for sure. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Cors Corsio's time lapse compilation. When do you want to hear something messed up and egotistical? It's up to you. It's pleasant to <laughs> down from the devil's depths of down from the depths of the underworld. Come here. Yes. I can do another time while watching. <gasps> That's smart. Corsio Cor 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 has the big brain moves. Brabjan. Just, just, it's pleasant to listen to burn in the ditches and burn in the ditches and burn in the ditches and burn in the ditches. All the, the mouse and, uh, I think the funny thing is this isn't even as deep as my voice goes. It used to be deeper, but it would actually hurt for me to speak. So I try not to do it, and that wasn't even it. That was just me going, eh, close up my throat. And then take it down from the bottom of the throat. And no one can understand it. trying to think I've drawn Burb I've drawn Court I've drawn Mount yeah, Bianca at some point uh, I didn't really draw Paladin I should draw Corsio at some point Mousy's voice used to be pretty deep then Mousy did some voice acting courses and <coughs> damaged her throat her larynx and her voice is higher it's one way to do it but it sounds like it's not enough for your desires it's an impressive <laughs> and concerning. curious to ask how you did that, but I don't want to encourage people to damage their larynxes to their windpipes as well. Mouse is, yeah, Mouse just wants to be a little lady. Mouse just wants to be the mouse she knows herself to be. Trying to be true to being you. It shouldn't be hard for this old shell to discard. Oh no! Hi, hi! Welcome to uh, welcome to Blink One Eighty Two. Ah! Suburbia.
Ryokuro, Ryokuro. Bueno, bom dia, fuck boy. I mean, I'm gonna have to clip. I'm gonna have to crop that out somehow. Guys, Ryokuro is a cool dude, a chill dude. Plays the epic games, and I do miss playing Minecraft with him on Saturday nights at the Duck Game Center. I. How do you how do you do, my my good man? <laughs> Wait, am I allowed to see? That's good news, and I am also good, thank you. Whoops. Oops. Oops. Oh, wait a minute. Here we go. I forgot about her mouth. I'm also doing good, thank you. She's green like a goblin, but also green like a witch. Uh, that depends. Is it gonna get this rated as a ra as a rated M for mature stream? <laughs> because so far all of it's been uh, I would say TV fourteen, but I'm still scared. Okay, then yes, please. My goodness, it's blowing up. Who else is here today? Command Guru to Casino Thanks, the bots have made it. Another TT viewer. I do wonder if Lacey Lou and Lily Red Fox, L Lacey looks and Lily Red Wolf are bots or not. I'm still waiting on Mousy's story. I feel like this is going to be a big one. I'm going to do it this way. Mousy was five. With their parents picking blueberries. Never had one up until that point. And the first split bush she stuck in her hand turned into. She stuck it into a hornet's nest. And she thought she hated blueberries until six months ago. 25 years later, and she tried one. Man, reaching into bush and just finding hornets. Sheesh, I'm sorry, Mousy. memory that Mousy's sister reminded her. Oh, 
Uh, I'm sorry, Mousey. I, I do hope the blueberry was at least sweet or pleasant. And I'm sorry I got the big sting as a little kid. It's a little, little, little thing. <laughs> it's interesting. I wonder how they grow over there. Because I know the bloopers around here are very, around the northeast region of the U.S. are very varied. I guess the local ones or imported ones over there are too sweet. Maybe Master just has a sour palate. Master prefers tart and sour. <laughs> That's a good reason. Massacre from Massachusetts. Yes, that is not sweet blueberry territory. Too cold and wet. Well, cranberries grow there, so you might like cran. You might. I think cranberries actually grow in Massachusetts. And those are quite tart. stuff. are welcome. I don't know what I was up there. I do know that I think Long Island in New York has cranberry bogs. I don't know how they differ compared to Massachusetts or other swampy cold they cold swampy areas blueberries. Cranberries, sorry. Mousy has never been to New York. And Mousy has been to New York and New York City many times, but never got to Long Island. That's weird because it's right next to Queens. Visited Cooperstown, however, as <laughs> Papa Mouse was a huge baseball fan. Aww. That's sweet. I hope. Do you want to hear a stupid story about copyright? Now see first hockey. Ah, real cold-blooded feller area, aren't you? Cold-blooded sports fan. Uh, I forget if it was... Yes. Copyright is a stupid story. It really is! Thanks, Disney. This 
either this minuet, let me just say, minuet, notebook, ah, uh, no, the next track, which might or may not play because it's on shuffle, YouTube said, hey, you can't, you can't use that, that's copyrighted under this one performance, I'm like, no, that's open, that's public domain, I got it from this source, with this performer, with this copyright, which is deliberately made to be open, oh, sorry, made to be public domain, so people like you don't skeeve small creators and musicians and artists and movie makers and whatever for a few pennies that they need more than you. And two days later they said, okay, it's, it's free now, we, we take back our claim. Don't hurt us. Ooh, fascinating. Thank you, Mousy. I'm not too sure on how copyright of the performance works. But at least, hey, the music itself can't be copyrighted. I thank you for that. Massey knows a lot of good stuff. Of course. If I could use the Stoltzman Symphony of Made with the Flax in here, you know, the one that comes with all Windows XP computers, I would be very happy. That song has very special meaning to me. But I've never found a cop commercial Creative Commons version. Mousy's never been able to do much, so she read a lot. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. The small immobile scholar oh, making the best of the situation that's it's been granted. I'm sorry, Mousy. I'm glad you made the best of it. I'm glad you're making the best of it, but I'm still sorry. Oh my goodness. I see there are about 10 minutes left before I get to real work. Well, actually, just working on other things. Mousy's goal in life is to learn as much as possible before she gets flushed out of the giant clone sky. I like how Mousy and I are more similar on things than we realize every, uh, seems like once, at least once a week. Because I do concur that be it mastery of skills or mastery of knowledge is one of my biggest motivators in life. I don't know why. Maybe just to be the master of my own universe. Maybe just to understand and be capable. Maybe to find the secrets of the universe. That too! <laughs> That's a lot less deep. That's a lot less spooky and deep. Thank you. <laughs> because learning is fun. It is. It really is. Lummox is back. Welcome, Lummox. Check out in the art channel. Okay, let's take a peek. But yeah, as I do that... Uh... What's the word? Before I take a look. Uh, there are about five, ten minutes left, eight minutes left on this stream. So if y'all have anyone who you'd like me to like to raid and host, please let me know. Otherwise, yeah, just let me know. Otherwise, I'll see who's available or planning to be planning to stream soon and send y'all on your merry way there. Uh, let me see now, Lummox Foxes. That looks really nice, Lummox. That's really cute. And it makes me want to play Cyber Connect 2 games. I think Marcus was playing one for a while now there. I forgot what it was called. China. Uh, it's supposed to be cute. It's also very big. By Lummox Fox, age five. Yeah, it's cute. It, it's just. It is the big, cute.
I gotta learn how to mesh it for my VTube thing. <laughs> yeah, rigging does take time. This is just true. If y'all like, I can try and put you in contact with some riggers who might be able to save you the time of learning. Otherwise, if you are interested in learning yourself, find your tutorials. You let me know if you want help or uh, videos and tutorials on that or back up. But yeah, uh, Sunburbs model was rigged by a Q on Lately. Uh, I know Squishy Lope does things. Okay, I'll do it yourself. Then I'm going to stop talking and get back to my own thing. It really is! You sure did. What a happy mousey. Happy Yes, that's a good point. Thank you, Burb. I forgot Q on his... An eager beaver, but it looks to Mousey has learned about three miles. Oh, that's smart! I actually forgot you can do that in Clip Studio. Wait a minute. Yeah, when she works, she works. But it takes time to get to it. Yeah, let's do this, man. Black is the night. Black is the night. Oh, I see. Uh, nope, not really, Mousy. Please educate me. Colors of foreign. Me. Oh, I do know about that, sort of. Um, shoot, I used to know. I, I, I used to know this. Hmm. No, I'll have to. We'll have, some, one of us will have to look. One of us should look it up later. I do apologize, but it's escaping me now. But dang, the only class you failed—that's impressive. She's a mouse, uh, Bianca's a well-educated mousey. I apologize, people. I do not know colors. They are a foreign concept to me. Had to quit. 
one semester before the degree due to expenses. Ah, shoot. It's unfortunate and frustrating. I'm sorry, Mousy. I don't know if you managed to get back and, you know, finish the, finish the degree or if it's waiting for you. Stuff. That's a well-educated mouse. Knowing about astrophysics and geography, mythology. That's a lot of math and culture. Very impressive. in a academic's hat. Mousy's major. I didn't realize that could even be a major. Impressive. Massey's major was mythology, which was acquired before it was required anthropology. And that before that was required astrophysics. So astrophysics, big math, and comets led to culture societies and cultures, which led to legends. Impressive and a little mind-boggling for me. Oof. I do apologize, people, but it appears. Time has run out for this prompt. As we see it, I attempted to draw a goblin with a moon casting a spell and being an artist. Uh, I would like to work on this more today, time permitting. But otherwise, I'm going to get on to commit com commission. Commission work. So let's see. Does anyone have any streamers they would like? To raid. And I, oh yes, and I thank you for taking your time. Thank you for stopping here. I hope you had a good time. I know I appreciate your presence. And, uh, yeah. I'm sure. Let's see here. Twitch. TV. Do. Do I foe. Okay. Let me ask you this, uh, though. Does Dwight Foe tend to have a foul language or mature content stream? Because my thing is not marked for mature audiences, and I don't want it to lead to an issue. <laughs> All right, now see what happens. Worst case scenario, Twitch gets mad, mad at me, and then I have to join the rated M for mature band for nothing. So yeah, I thank you for stopping by. Here's to a good week, and uh, I'll see you around. <laughs> yes, I know, Mousy. I know.